Hello and welcome to Fight Lab, your spiritual home for everything violence. Today we have a very special lesson for you. We have the Ten Commandments, as presented by Priest Bradley. Hello children, Priest Bradley here. For today's lesson, children of the Church of Violence, is the Ten Commandments. Number one, thou shalt not train any other martial arts. MMA is the true power. But Master, what about Wing Chun? <clears throat> Just to let you know, Wing Chun is blasphemy. It's unrealistic and it's an act against God. Commandment 2. Thou shalt not make false idols. Move the actors are not fighters. To compare such frauds to men of the canvas is to admit one doth not understand fighting and to remove one's head from thine rectum. But sir. Bruce Lee was genuinely very, very good. Boy, you never learn. Before I even get to commandment number three, young Joseph is on 200 lashes, but forgive him for he knows no better. Commandment three. You shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. Only the one called Saint Joseph Rogan can scream Oh my god, he knocked him out! Woo! And not be smited by the almighty 400 lashes. Come on, <laughs> it was funny. Commandment 4. On the Sabbath day, one must rest and heal. Partake in ice baths, saunas, massages, and such. For on this day is the day of cheat. Pancake stacks covered in syrup. Burgers as large as a small child are the expected nourishment if one wishes to reach 1,000 likes on Instagram. Commandment 5. Honor thy coach and training partner, for thy coach shows the way to the path to glory, and thy training partner taketh thine holy punishment in redemption. Commandment 6. You shall not murder white belts. They know no better and are naive to their lack of abilities. When a newbie enters one sanctum, you shall not demonstrate hill hooks or spine knocks. These are the moves of Satan. Commandment 7. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Pretty self-explanatory. Next. Commandment 8. Thou shalt not steal techniques from YouTube. Comparing oneself to Ryan Hall doesn't make oneself Ryan Hall. It is a grievous sin to show up at thy holy sanctum and take credit for one's lies. This action is punishable by Neil Bay demonstration for the rest of the class. Myself and Monk Joseph have been through this process when he spoke out of turn, and I indeed punished him with Neil Belly till his innards came out. Commandment 9. One must make agreed weight. To show up over limit is a sin punishable by a hundred lashings. If one cannot keep thine chubby face out of one's fridge, and thine fork from thine hand, then one shall forfeit 30% of one's purse and forever hold their head in shame. But your holiness, Jack Marshman has missed weight several times and has not been punished. How is this happening? The Lord shall give Jack Marshman diabetes as a sign of punishment. Thy sugar levels will never be thine same as he cannot simply put thy fork down. Commandment 10, the last of the Church of Violence's commandments. 
One must always partake in the ritual known as the warm-up. To show up late is reserved for those who have shown great courage in battle and with the highest honour. These privileges have been earned in blood and are not permitted by anyone of purple belt or below status. To partake in cartwheels and shrimps is the path one must take to allow thine holy code to chance to scroll Instagram for inspiration. Without said rituals, the path to greatness shall be lost. There you have it. The Holy Bible, the Ten Commandments of the Church of Violence by me, Priest Brad, and young squire boy monk, Joseph. We thank our gracious Lord for the ability to defend ourselves against bogus fake martial arts and heavy eaters and dying scared of the folk. Ooh.